Hello, today I'm going to show you how to log in and run transactions on our mobile app on the Apple iOS devices. Okay, so you can see here the information that we'll need, you know, the client ID, location, terminal, and employee logins. You can find all of these in my program admin. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my information. hit done and at the bottom here there's login so once you log in it'll take you to the gift issuance section so on our web terminal or sorry our mobile app we have gift loyalty promo and void so I'm going to start with gift issuance so all of our our cards are printed with a barcode on the back so that's the easiest way to enter the numbers into the system. So what I'm going to do is use this button up here in the top that looks like a barcode. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to activate the camera that we will use to scan the barcode. So once we do that, you know you can see the number populate there on the top line. And I have a zero balance on this card. So I'm going to do a issuance. So I'm going to issue uh, ten dollars onto this card. So I had typed in ten, hit done, and then down here at the bottom I want to click run transaction. So once that screen changes over, that'll show that the transaction went through. So you can see that there was ten dollars issued, the date and the transaction information. So down at the bottom here you'll see that you can either hit print which would um, send a receipt to any printer that's on the same Wi-Fi network or I'm just going to hit done which will take me back into the app. Alright, so to do a gift redemption, it would pretty much go the same way. So what we're going to do is, you know, go down here to the bottom and click clear. And that wipes everything out. So I'm going to hit that scan button again. Scan in the card. And we're going to redeem off. Let's see, we're going to redeem five of those dollars off. So I'm going to hit the done button again and run transaction. There we go. So now we see that there's five dollars redeemed but there's still a five dollar balance. So I'm going to go ahead and click done once more. So that's how you run a gift issuance and a gift redemption. And you can see here that there's still the five dollar balance showing on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click the clear button at the bottom one more time. And we're going to move on to loyalty. So now that I'm over in the loyalty section, it's going to work quite similarly to the gift. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan the card in one more time. So we're going to click the barcode button, scan in the card, and it shows that we have a zero point balance. So we're going to do an issuance for 10 points. I'm going to click done. So now depending on how your program is set up, these points would, you know, they would convert to some sort of reward dollar. You know, it could be, you know, 10 points gets you $10, 10 points gets you $5, 10 points gets you $1. You know, however you wanted your program set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run Transaction down here at the bottom. So now you can see that the 10 points have been issued. So that is how you run the loyalty issuance. Go ahead and click Done. Alright, so depending on you know how you set up your, your loyalty program to uh, like redeem those rewards, you would redeem them off like a, uh, like a gift redemption. You know, so they would turn into dollars, so we would redeem them on that side. But we've already done that. So let's see, so I'm going to scroll down and hit clear, wipe everything out. So now I'm going to show you what the promo tab will do. 
So over in promo, it'll work similarly to loyalty in the, the, the sense that you can get, you'll use custom currencies, not just points, and you can reward yourself with, you know, custom rewards. So you, this is where you will use, you know, scroll down to, you know, you can use bonus bucks or, you know, any free type of product. But we're going to screw down to punches. So we can do like a punch card. So if you wanted to do 10 punches gets you a free item. You know, that's what we would use here with the, with the promo function. So I'm going to go ahead and scan the card in one more time. You know, the customer comes into the store. They get one punch. So go ahead and hit one. Done. Run transaction. Yeah. So that's how the the customer would be able to accrue their points or their punches. I apologize. And then you know if you go to void down here at the bottom, you know it'll you would enter in the card number, the transaction ID, and the approval code that would be printed out in the receipt, and that would allow you to void off that um, that transaction. Or like it says there, if you want to avoid just the last transaction, uh, you can leave it blank and hit your void. So that is how you log in and run transactions on the mobile app on your Apple iOS devices.